Hello, everybody. I was recently talking to my friends about my job, and I found out that a lot of them don't know how to use the basics of Excel, which was interesting to me because I work with an accounting team and I use Excel for almost everything that I do. I find it to be an incredibly useful software, so I thought it might be a good thing to do a couple videos on how to do some basic things in Excel to show how useful it is and it could be helpful to some people out there who have never used it and want a small basis. So where I'm going to start is the new page. It's very similar to Word. Um, you can find a lot of different templates to use um, that are pre-made for you for anything that you might need. So we've got calendars here, um, student calendars that have assignments on the side, um, inventory lists for a job maybe, um, analyses, comparisons, budgets, um, so many different templates that are pre-made for you so you don't have to do any formulas, anything. They're all done for you. All you have to do is enter the numbers. So let's say you wanted a budget. You just type this in in this little search function and it's going to show us all the budget templates that are already created and all you have to do is pick one based on what you need it for and based on how you like the look of it so let's see let's scroll down i like this one this is kind of cool so it's going to give you a preview and then you hit create and there you go so here's a little pop-up menu that kind of tells you what this is about and this one has different tabs for you to go in and enter um, your personal information. Like, let's say that our rent went up to $1,025 a month. If you went here, you'd see your expenses have now gone up because you had an increased expense. So that's something to where it's super easy. You just go here, get a template, and then you can easily show how your income compares to your expenses for a personal budget, for a budget for a work setting, um, and it's something that's really easy. And that's what I like about a lot of the Microsoft products is that you can find so many templates to just make it so user friendly so you don't have to do anything that's too scary. So let's go to a blank template. So this is a blank Excel sheet. It's just a basic grid kind of format. Uh, so home screen, it's going to look really similar to Word. There's going to be some different things um, that you don't necessarily need to use, but they're here. Um, insert is good for when you are adding a table, um, a different a shape, a picture, very similar to Word. Um, graphs, which I'm going to do a video on how to use Excel graphs, text boxes, um, Word are again, like Word, and then you can also enter in different equations um, if you need to. Page layout is just like Word, how to, how you want it to look, the orientation, the size, um, what part of the spreadsheet you would actually like to print, um, the different colors that you can maybe add onto your spreadsheet. And then we have the formulas tab. Now, formulas are a little complicated. I'm only going to talk about one in this video, but if you weren't sure what you needed to type, all you needed to do is go to the formulas tab and they're going to have all the different formulas that you can enter um, to just do things for you. That's the beauty of Excel is that Excel does a lot of things for you so you don't have to do them yourself. <laughs> The data tab is where you're going to be able to manipulate the data that you enter to do some cool things like have drop-down menus, and filter your data, which I'll talk about in another video. And the review tab, you don't necessarily need to use if you're using this for personal use. Um, it's helpful when you use it for work. If you create a template for someone, like I've created a mileage log for my work, um, you can hit protect sheet to just protect the formulas that you enter in so that um, a user can't go in and erase all your formulas and break your spreadsheet. <laughs> View is just, depending on how you want certain things to look. 
and then you don't have to worry about any add-ins or anything. So what I'm going to go over today is how to do a very basic sum, how to use Excel to add things for you. I had taken a biostatistics class when I was in college and I finished an assignment a lot quicker than most people. There was two, three of us that finished it really quickly and I wasn't sure why everyone was behind on it. And then I realized when the teacher asked how many of us used Excel that the three of us that finished it the quickest were the ones that were actually using Excel and the other people were trying to do it by hand or on their phone calculator and they were having a little more trouble. So this is the beauty of Excel, especially when you're in sciences or math, is that it's so useful for um, adding and subtracting and all of the different math needs that you have. But today I'm just going to talk about sums. So let's enter some dummy numbers here. Okay, so we've entered some dummy numbers here. Let's just say these are different numbers that you got um, when doing different equations. They're different numbers that you got from um, asking random people what type of numbers they want. <laughs> so first thing you can do is highlight all of these together and you're automatically going to get your sum right here in the bottom right corner. It's just as easy as that. It'll even average it for you over here. So if you're doing something in math where you need the average, all you have to do is enter all the numbers given to you and your average will be right here at the bottom of the screen. If we only wanted to average half of these, because let's say we don't like the bottom half the numbers, we think they were done wrong, you can do that as well. Just highlight the ones you want, don't highlight the ones you don't, and you're going to get a sum and an average here, and then this count just means the amount of cells that you've highlighted. So if we wanted to portray the sum, what we could also do is type in a formula. Anytime that you are going to type in a formula, you want to hit the, the um, equal sign button. We're going to type in the word sum. We're going to add a parenthesis. We're going to highlight the numbers that we want to sum together. So let's sum all of them. We're going to add another parenthesis, and then we're going to hit enter. And there's our sum easy as that. Now, you can do the same thing as the other one. If we wanted to highlight less, we could just go in here and say, I only want to highlight half of these. And there's our number. Simple as that. Not too difficult. Now, the reason I would do this as opposed to using my phone calculator, for instance, is that right here we have a list of all the numbers that we used and they can be easily changed. So let's say that this was not supposed to say 2.597, it was supposed to say 5. I could just go in here and change this to a 5 and it'll automatically update the sum for me. It's good to use when you have more than I would say 5 numbers because if you mess up an in input, you can go back and look and see what number it was that you messed up and it'll just make it a lot cleaner and easier if you're doing something like a math assignment. So that is just how to do a basic sum. See the average, you know, you just highlight the cells and you have it here, or you just do the simple enter sum and highlight your cells. That's all I'll go over today. Just extreme basics of how to use the software. Next video, I think I will talk about how to do a little bit more math with them and maybe even after that I will go into tables and filtering data and stuff to make a little more of a fancy spreadsheet. <laughs> Hope you tune in. Let me know if you want any specific videos from me. I would be happy to do that. Bye!